Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to this Christmas Eve edition of Tyabji. I'm Michael Smith, the Vancouver Province political columnist. I'm filling in for Judy this week, who's on holidays. You know, last year at this time, in Victoria and in Vancouver and, and many other parts of British Columbia, we were definitely having a white Christmas. In fact, it was too white for a lot of people's likings. This year, we definitely have a green Christmas, and that's our topic today on the program. We'll be talking about ways to have an environmentally friendly holiday season. We're going to be talking about ways, uh, everything from ways to recycle your Christmas tree to environmentally friendly gift ideas, and even some last-minute gift ideas if you're like me and you still have to do your Christmas shopping, as I'm going to do after the program today. So here's a little background on our topic today. Every year we pour tons and tons of garbage into our landfills without even thinking about how many things we could reuse. And much of the stuff under your Christmas tree right now is headed for this place too. If we could reduce what we use, recycle what we can, and reuse things until they truly do wear out, there would be fewer things in the dump for the seagulls to pick over, and a cleaner environment. There is no such thing as waste. Uh, really all that there is is a lack of imagination to transform these things that we discard uh, into something that's useful. So think about these Christmas gifts, if not for this year, then for next year. Give cloth diapers to a new mom. Disposable diapers take up a lot of landfill space. Make or buy wooden toys. They last a long time and become family heirlooms. Or treat a friend to a clothesline or wooden drying rack because electric clothes dryers eat up too much energy. And you could give an energy-saving shower head as a gift. Other gifts, an unbreakable and insulated coffee mug to cut down on the use of paper or styrofoam cups. Or how about a set of cloth grocery bags? They replace that tangled ball of plastic grocery bags that everybody collects in the kitchen. Beeswax candles are hot with the environmental crowd, or when in doubt, buy something that is used rather than new. And sometimes, you know, we don't think about that. One good rule of thumb is if your gifts are homemade, they are almost always more environmentally friendly than store-bought. Even the commonest of household items can be used. I think we all use these, the toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I've got several quotes, but these ones all have, I'm shed, I've shed my sheets and I'm on a roll. <laughs> think about making your own wrapping paper, so that way you don't have to um, go and buy rolls of it. I can't believe that people do buy rolls of it, but there's always wrapping paper that you've had from a, another gift. And if imagination fails you entirely, you can always give someone a gift produced by an environmental group. Their publications are all on recycled paper, and they're a way to learn more about protecting the planet. The charm of this is, if it's too late for you to be good this Christmas, you can make it a New Year's resolution to do better next year. So as you can see, there are plenty of ways to buy Christmas gifts without making a last-minute mad dash to the mall. And that'll be our topic today. When we return, we'll uh, have, I'll introduce you to our guests today, and we'll be taking your phone calls, of course, at this number. Please stay with us. New Ultra Downy introduces Downy Care. You get more than fluffy softness. Now it helps keep clothes looking like new. Keep the new look of it. New Ultra Downy cares for bright cottons in the rinse cycle. Over time, it helps keep them looking more like new. Keep the new look of it. Take the best care of it. Only Downy does it. Come on in. And only Downy has the Ultra Downy ball. Toss it in for Downy's best fabric care ever. Downy care. You've always known how your touch can comfort your child. Clinical studies have recognized the positive effects of Vicks Vapor Rub for cold symptoms. We call it rub therapy. Combined with your loving touch, Vapor Rub can relieve cold symptoms while comforting your child. The warmth of your touch helps release medicated vapors which quickly relieve your child's nasal congestion and calm coughing from a cold. It also eases aching muscles. Vicks Vapor Rub puts the power to relieve in the palm of your hand. Comfort and joy. The Power Smart and Renovation Specialists at Mac Renovations wish you a warm and merry Christmas. All the best to you and yours in 1998. As you spend time this season with family and friends, the folks at Artray Film and Video wish you and yours prosperity and peace in the new year. Have a happy and safe holiday. All the staff of both Boston Pizza locations wish you and yours the warmest of the holiday season. 
and they hope the new year brings you prosperity and a good appetite. Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Daniel Clover from Remax Ports West, Victoria's top producing real estate company in its class. In my business, it's always important to look your best, and that's why I shop at Master Clothiers on the corner of Fort and Blanchard. Quality clothing at an affordable price. So if you're considering buying or selling a home, call me, Daniel Clover, at 592-1007. If you're looking for quality clothing at an affordable price, Master Clothiers, Fort and Blanche. Welcome back to Tyab our, our topic today is how to have a green Christmas, and that's we mean by that an environmentally friendly Christmas. We're going to have some last minute gift ideas for you and some hints on ways you can help improve the environment while having fun at Christmas time as well. So if you're not like me and you've got your Christmas shopping done already, uh, pour yourself an eggnog and sit back and join us for the next hour as we discuss this very interesting topic. I think you might get some good ideas out of it as well. And I'd like to introduce my guests in the studio today. To my immediate left is Catherine Malloy. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Catherine is with the, the Gaia Project. Have I got that correct? That's right. It's a local environmental group, isn't it? It is. We, uh, we're a working group of the Sierra Club, but we also work in conjunction with a group in El Salvador, SESTA. Right. And you also, you're also involved with a group called the Car Share Co-op, yep, which the is really interesting. Yeah, the Victoria Car Share Co-op. Yeah, and I really want to hear a bit more about that. It's a very sure. interesting idea. And uh, we also have Lorenzo Mele of the Capital Regional District Waste and Recycling Department. Have I got that right, That's Lorenzo? right, Mike, yeah. Yeah, and, we're gonna be, and you're going to be giving us some ideas about great, great ways we can recycle and and have an environmentally friendly Christmas exactly, today. Exactly, yeah. Cut down some of that waste. Yeah, that's a good idea, uh, because we all know this is an important social issue today. Um, and of course, we're going to be taking your phone calls in. It's kind of, it's, it's New Year's Eve, so we've got a bit of a loosey-goosey kind of program today. You know, if you want to phone in and just talk about some general ideas about how you have uh, got some great ways, ideas perhaps, on how you can have an environmentally friendly Christmas, perhaps we can talk about, perhaps uh, if you have uh, any thoughts about that Christmas is becoming too commercial, perhaps, or it's getting a little bit too superficial, because a lot of the, pro the ideas we're going to be talking about today are ways that you can make somebody happy and make someone's day with not spending a lot of money, because a lot of the programs, we're, the ideas we're talking about, are not expensive. There are plenty of ways you can, you can give presents, even last-minute gifts, which I'm a specialty at, <laughs> um, yeah, that don't cost a lot of, lot of money. Now, I must, I must tell both of you right up front mm -hmm. that I personally am a bit of a one-man e uh, ecological disaster when it comes to Christmas. Okay. Uh -oh. Total, <laughs> total last minute. Um, you know, I'm usually right after the show, I'll be driving around looking for a parking spot up at the mall, burning off all kinds of fossil fuel and polluting the environment <laughs> that way because you know how tough it is to find a parking spot. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so you're, you're going to have to educate me today on, on ways sure. we can have an environmentally friendly friendly Christmas. And Catherine, maybe I could start with you. Now you've brought in, you've got a couple of suggestions right off the bat, right? I, I do actually. I, I say give it up. Don't go to the mall. Don't go to the mall. <laughs> Good idea, especially today. <laughs> so I just made up a couple of gift certificates. I have one, uh, I w have one here for my husband uh, and it says it's Christmas gift, gift certificate, especially for Jeff Malloy and it's a special date with the love of his life. And I, I sure as heck hope it's, it's me that, he's, uh, <laughs> that is the love of his life. And, and so this is great. I will just roll this up and stick it in his stocking. A special date. Yeah, a special date. Now, that might mean that I cook dinner. Uh, my partner is actually the domestic god in our house, and uh, so he does all the, that sort of stuff. So I made him another one, one week exempt from house cleaning. Oh, well, now, so now, <laughs> now, there, now there's... I sure a, hope he's not watching the show. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, there's a gift any guy would love to get. It's, that's right. <laughs> now, for kids as well, um, because I'm, I'm a very busy person, I don't have as much time for my kids as I'd like, so I made them up one, uh, um, one night exempt from dishes themselves. Uh, my kids have to do dishes. So, um, but I also gave them an opportunity to have a 12-hour period with just with me, exclusive time with me. They have to give me 48 hours notice, though, <laughs> on this. So... Um, <laughs> You want, you want a little warning. <laughs> I want a to. little warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I also would uh, recommend, instead of going to the mall, it's probably best uh, to take the bus right downtown um, and go to Pandora Street and go down to the Global Village store, which mm -hmm. is right um, at the, in the 500 block of Pandora. And they've got some beautiful handcrafted gifts from different co-ops where the money goes right back to the to the people who made them. So I have some samples here, if you'd well, like. Well, that's a great idea. And perhaps we'll get to those in, sure. in just a sec, because you know that's something that maybe I'll try after the program today, because I'm generally mm -hmm. the type of guy who goes to uh, London Drugs and you know starts hit looking for the Old Spice gift pack, <laughs> or the, uh, the, after, the after eight mints 
you know, the, uh, the gift that gives itself or the, you know, black magic chocolates or something sure. like that. The gift yeah. that everyone's suspicious that, hey, you didn't put a lot of thought into this gift, right. it seems, you know. Meaning. But some of these gifts that we're talking about seem like there are some thought behind it, right, Lorenzo? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. I think that that's our goal. Uh, you know, Christmas is a, a time, the holiday season is a time when we're showing our, our love and appreciation of our, our family, friends, and uh, planning is something that you need to do. Uh, understanding what the person that you're going to be giving this gift to really would like. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody likes chocolates. Most people do anyway. But some meaning behind the gifts. I think that that's really important. And when you start doing that, then you realize that you're having less of an impact on the environment too, because the things that people really want these days um, are not material things. Right. You know, and, the and, time, that's Christ time. and Christmas time is a time, apparently, when there is a lot of pressure on, uh, on say, landfill sites, which you're obviously very familiar with, because mm -hmm. you talk about wrapping paper and, and that kind of thing, um, tinsel, which probably takes about 10 million years to decompose, <laughs> right. I would think. You've got some ideas on how to reduce that as well, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah uh, definitely uh, right around, you know, after Christmas, we, uh, we have a bulge of, of waste coming to the landfill. There's no doubt about it. Right. Um, it goes up significantly. The idea is to try to, to cut back on the waste before you even start. And packaging is, is certainly something that always irks people. I, 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 in my job, I hear that over and over again. Why is this thing overpackaged? Why is it overpackaged? So Christmas is a time when you don't want to contribute to that overpackaging. So buying gifts that don't even need packaging, hockey sticks, uh, clay pots, things that don't even need packaging. And then, of course, you know, the, the standard comics, there you go. Uh, these exist already, uh, these can be easily recycled, a uh, lot of people use these. Right. Uh, you can make up your own wrapping paper of old uh, um, paper bags. Now, being a newspaper columnist, maybe people could find a use for my column at times at <laughs> right. Christmas time exactly. as well, maybe something very practical. The thing that, we're, that you want to avoid, mm -hmm. um, and although this is a beautiful thing, and the, you know, the people that are making it, um, you know, think it's a great thing, it can't be recycled in our blue box program, and that's unfortunate. Um, so these are the kinds of things that I would suggest that people avoid. And what have you got there? That's obviously This is a, a roll of uh, shiny wrapping paper, yeah. extremely shiny. It's got a foil coating. It can't be recycled. That, that'll end up in the dump. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what we want to avoid. And what you want to avoid with this kind of material, too, is putting it in your fireplace. A lot of people put paper in their fireplace. Um, the, the foil, the, the inks, um, just that really, really hot burn sometimes is really a, a real problem in fireplaces. So mm -hmm. don't burn your paper. Buy paper that can be recycled and put it in your blue box. Okay, great idea. Well, we've already got uh, some people on the phone line, so perhaps we'll take a, take a call at this point, and we'll speak to Billy on Main Island. Uh, hi. Uh, Merry Christmas, Billy. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. Hey. My mom grew up during the Depression, and so uh, we were taught by her a kind of uh, recycling as a sort of economic measure. And uh, we uh, save all the bows and use them in uh, subsequent years. We uh, save any uh, uh, tin and really good uh, cardboard packaging for use in other things. And uh, I found that uh, the fancy uh, uh, bags that the liquor stores use nowadays can be used in wrapping paper. Right, they're reusable, sure. Yeah, great idea. Thanks for calling in. All right. Okay, Bye. Billy. Well, I mean, there's, there's someone who's, who's thinking ahead and has some ideas and has a family tradition of, uh, of recycling and using uh, environmentally friendly practices and right. wrapping their gifts. Now, Catherine, you were going to tell us some, some, give us some examples of... Uh, well, I can. I have... Um, this, this doesn't come in any wrapping. This is a, a beautiful doll, actually, uh, that was made in... A, it's a Nepali craft, so it was made in Nepal. And uh, it, it's a... All the money that is comes from the that's spent on this doll goes back to the people that make it. So the the Global Village store down on Pandora is run entirely by volunteers, 100%, mm -hmm. and uh, and is completely nonprofit. So this is this is a lovely alternative doll, and um, it's very we have, nice. It, we, nice. Have, we have another one mm -hmm. from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. This this retails in the Global Village store for 18.50 too, which is quite reasonable. This beautiful doll is uh, ten dollars. D and a lovely ethnic doll again. All the money goes back to the group that made it. And uh, there's some nice toys here. Um, this, uh, this is a puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen lots of these, but this particular one was, uh, is um, 
made by youth and the money goes back to for the training and employment of Sri Lankan uh, youth, so which wow. is fantastic. Got some, well. un, some uh, un, unfortunate packaging on that one, it appears. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is unfortunate. That Never it mind that, plastic. folks. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> But, but obviously, the, these are gifts that are helping out some developing countries and some poor people. That's in developing exactly countries right. Well. Yeah, this other beautiful box is from El Salvador. And again, the monies go back to the people in those countries. Very nice. These are all available at the Global Village store. Very nice. Value added to their lumber as well, instead of exporting. Yeah, it, we uh, can take some lessons from that here in BC. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. The Gaia Project right. is certainly learning, uh, learning a lot from the experience in El Salvador. Yeah. Uh, and I know a lot of the, in most a lot of communities there are stores like this where you can get these type of products. I I'm, I know Bridgehead is is a is a chain of stores that specializes in these projects as well. Yeah, Bridgehead mm -hmm. is a type of coffee too that's uh, uh, socially responsible coffee where it's um it's cooperative that they pick the coffee and the money goes back to them again, and it's also organic so it's not been sprayed with anything. And um, there's in Victoria there are three stores. There's the Ten Thousand Villages on Oak Bay Avenue, uh, which is run by the Mennonite Central Committee. And then there's the um, Global Connections, which is up on Fernwood, mm -hmm. and it's it's part of Oxfam and Bridgehead Coffee. Great. So great, well, some wonderful ideas. We're just going to head to a break right now, and when we come back, we're going to discuss some more ideas. And we also have a Christmas tree here in the studio that's been decorated completely with recycled metal, and you want to check that out because it's quite remarkable what they've been able to do with it. So stay with us, and uh, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Tayam She is brought to you in part by Metro Lexus Toyota, leaders in customer satisfaction. Did you get a new vehicle for Christmas? Then get one now during Glen Oak Ford's 60 hours sale. And get 1.9% financing on Whoa, Ford Motor Company has just announced 0% interest for trucks and vans. 0% interest on trucks and vans. Right, Remy? Right. Ooh, here's a cheesy moment you might want to miss. And here's one you don't. Take nachos, peppers, grated mozzarella. Cover the nachos with cheese. Sprinkle on the peppers. And heat until the cheese is melted. That's so cheesy. <laughs> it's scary. But this cheesy moment is just a reminder. When you've got cheese, you've got choice. Hi, this is Daniel Clover from Remax Ports West, Victoria's top producing real estate company in its class. In my business, it's always important to look your best. And that's why I shop at Master Clothiers on the corner of Fort and Blanchard. Quality clothing at an affordable price. So if you're considering buying or selling a home, call me, Daniel Clover, at 592-1007. If you're looking for quality clothing at an affordable price, Master Clothiers, Fort and Blanchard. My New Year's resolution, our best Boxing Day ever. The Boxing Day clear-out at Hastings Frigidaire Appliance Store means great savings on the world's best-selling appliances. You've had your turkey, now let's talk turkey. Save money now on Frigidaire. One only, floor models, scratch and dents are all priced to clear out. We want to stay Canada's number one Frigidaire store. We have to sell appliances. There's only a short time for Boxing Day clear-out values at Hastings Frigidaire Appliance Store, 2100 Douglas Street. Make your resolution. Come on down. The 60-hour sale is on right now here at Glen Oak Ford. Get 1.9%. Whoa, Ford Motor Company has just announced 0% interest for trucks and vans. 0% interest on trucks and vans. That's a good deal. Right, Remy? Right. Welcome back to Tyabji, the New Year Christmas Eve edition. And uh, we're talking about a green Christmas. That's an environmentally friendly Christmas with our guests, Catherine Malloy and Lorenzo Mele. And uh, Lorenzo, we were talking a little bit about a Christmas tree uh, that you were kind enough to bring in today. And it's been decorated completely with recycled metal. Have scrap I, have metal. I, scrap metal. Scrap metal, exactly. Okay, you want to tell us a little bit about that. It looks, it looks great. Yeah, it is a, a, a interesting idea, no doubt about it. Um, this is the second year that we've entered a tree into the uh, BC Children's Hospital Festival of Trees at the Empress Hotel in Victoria. And uh, so our theme was scrap metal. This is the tree from our office. Uh, we decorated one each year, and uh, keeping with the theme, scrap metal. Uh, the scrap metal comes from Regent Recycling here in Victoria. We just went into their scrap metal bin. Uh, some of the bike parts, you'll see some of the, the cogs from the, uh, um, the, the rear hub of a wheel. Uh, they come from a local bike shop as well, Bicyclicity. And 
you know, there's no such thing as garbage. It's just a lack of imagination. <laughs> I mean, and this, this uh, tree really does it for us. Uh, we're getting great response from the tree that's at the Empress Hotel as well. And, um, yeah, it's a fun thing. And uh, each year, you know, we have a theme on, on how we're going to do the tree. Last year, we uh, used materials that were from uh, discarded materials, and we crafted them up ourselves into ornaments. This year, we just hung the scrap metal, tied things, and it's twisted great. things. I, you know, I, I wouldn't notice, I, I didn't notice immediately what exactly was on there, but you take a closer look, and you mm -hmm. do see the sprockets from a bike and that kind of thing. And uh, yeah. that's a cool idea. Wire, and yeah, there's all kinds of fun That things. is very imaginative. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got that much imagination myself, <laughs> but uh, maybe it'll inspire some of our viewers. Sure. Um, we invite our viewers, by the way, to call in and talk to us today a little bit about uh, ways you can have a, an environmentally friendly Christmas or maybe even some uh, ideas on how to have a frugal Christmas or, or ways you can save money at Christmas time or, or last-minute gift ideas. And uh, so uh, please feel free to do that and call in and talk to our guests. Um, we're also, we also want to tell you a little bit uh, about... Um, Ways uh, you can recycle. Um, we have, uh, if you have a, a natural uh, a Christmas tree, a lot of people buy real Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. And I guess there's a bit of a debate going on about, is that an environmentally friendly thing to do? Because um, a lot of us are traditional. We want a real tree in our homes. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that's uh, very much part of a family get-together. And then other people say, oh, I wouldn't want to cut down a real tree. Yeah. Where do... Where do you stand on that? That's a that's a <laughs> kind of a dicey one. Isn't that's it? a difficult uh, sort of topic to wade into. Uh, I don't even think we uh, we have a we have the resources or the time to really get into it. I think what's important though is to to choose something that that's going to make your holiday season special. Uh, there's no point in compromising what their traditional values are. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the thing about it though is that um, there are alternatives. There's no doubt about it in, ter in terms of the cut tree. So you can use a, a green plant in your home, a large Benjamina or Norf Norfolk pine, that can be decorated. Okay, um, well, well, we'll probably get into those sure. examples, but first I want to tell people a little bit about how you can recycle your, your Christmas tree if you do choose to have a real one. Now, if you have a real Christmas tree, you should look into ways to recycle it because it can be ground up into compost. And here's just a few of the places you can do that in Greater Victoria. Um, from Jan on January 3rd and 4th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can take your tree to the Hillside Shopping Center um, at the, the Fort and Fowl Bay parking lot uh, to save on foods at the Tillicum Mall, uh, the University Heights Shopping Center, or the Broadmead Village Shopping Center. And uh, if you live up the peninsula, you can drop your tree at the Keating Crossroad uh, across from the Municipal Yard on January 3rd, 4th, and 10th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. In, in Sydney, on January 3rd only from 10 until 4 at the Sydney Iroquois Park at Lockside and Ocean. Now all of these locations will sell the mulch trees with proceeds going to the Lions Club to help children with disabilities. There you go, you're helping out somebody as well as doing a, something good for the environment. And there are opportunities in most communities to have your tree recycled in this manner. So you should check your local newspaper is what we're telling people to do. And obviously that makes a lot of sense to do something like that. Catherine, do you yeah. agree? Yeah. I do agree, but I guess I have a question for Lorenzo. I mean, what happens if you don't have a vehicle? Uh, those people that, I mean, I did manage to uh, get my tree from, mm -hmm. from Thrifties in the shopping cart home, but uh, <laughs> what about if you want to take it to one of those locations and you don't have a vehicle? Okay. Um, I'm not totally familiar in terms of how they're going to organize it, but I know each year uh, there are people that are providing a service in terms of going to pick the tree up. Uh, so again, check your uh, local papers. I uh, even call the BC uh, Lion Society and they can put you in touch with somebody with a pickup truck that's doing that pickup and uh, delivery to the chipping site. Yeah, it is a really good idea to do that. Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's talk to Karen in Victoria. Hello, Karen. Thanks for waiting. Hi. Um, up until now, I've been buying my wrapping paper and looking under my tree. I'm feeling really guilty after watching this show. <laughs> oh, no. Um, that wasn't our intention. <laughs> um, if it's not metallic or shiny, can it be recycled if it's just a regular wrapping paper? Well, that's a good question. Yes, absolutely. It can be recycled in your blue box as mixed paper. That's mm -hmm. our category uh, is mixed paper. The other thing is, uh, Karen, is... Get, if you get everybody to take their time to open it, not only does it add mm -hmm. that element of suspense and pleasure, but uh, you could probably have some paper that's good to use again. Okay, uh, let's speak to uh, Amy in Richmond now. Hello, Amy. Hello. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, and you. I just want to say this is a great idea, the show that you guys are putting on today. <laughs> 
And it was something that I've been talking with a friend of mine about, you know, that um, Jesus is really the reason for the season and for the gifts, and and it's a good idea to save our planet and recycle, and it's just great and good on you for doing that. Well, it gets down to the real reasons behind Christmas and the real spirit behind it as well, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, yeah. it does. And, are, and, do you, and do you practice uh, recycling uh, and uh, environmentally friendly practices in your home at Christmas time? Yes, I do. do you yeah. Have, do you have any ideas? Well, uh, what I was thinking is that the dollar store is a great place to buy gifts. Mm -hmm. I, I got lots of coloring books and other neat things for my daughter, and, and you get a lot of things for a little money. And also, my daycare provider made a really cute little angel out of a toilet paper roll and cotton balls and old paper plates. So it's, it's just great, you know, the kind of things that you can come up with from recyclable materials. And, there, and, and the thought, obviously, that goes into it is very special. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah, and she also made um, a little picture frame out of colored um, popsicle sticks and buttons glued on. It's really cute. That's very nice. Yeah. That's a very nice idea. Thanks for calling in today. Thank you guys for having the show. It's a great idea. Okay. And, and save money at Christmas. Yeah, that's the bottom Merry line. Christmas. Yeah, don't go crazy. No, we, we'll try not to. Now, I, I personally tend to go crazy. I, I've never been one to sit around and make things out of, out of toilet paper rolls and stuff myself. I'm more like a desperate kind of last minute shopper, typical guy, right? Out on December 24th, mm -hmm. every single December 24th, circling the parking lot looking for a parking spot. Uh, when we come back, we're going to further uh, discuss great ways you can have an environmentally friendly Christmas and with more of your phone calls, so stay with us. Starfrit, where new ideas are born, presents the one liter size pickle jar. Look at all it does stores and serves your food in the same container, holds the entire contents of a large jar, and keeps food fresher longer. Check these value-added features. A screw-on airtight lid with knobs for easy opening and closing. There's also the handy 400 milliliter size. Starfrit, why settle for less? No interest for 48 months. Now, own a new Transport, Safari, or GMC pickup. And pay no interest for 48 months. It's true. Dave Wheaton, Pontiac, and General Motors bring you 0% financing for four years. Plus, get 2.9% financing for 48 months on most other 97 and 98 models. No interest for 48 months. No interest for 48 months on Transport, Safaris, and GMC pickups. Incredible sale price And General Motors financing mean huge savings. Now at Dave Wheaton, Pontiac, View at GMC, Victoria. All the staff of both Boston Pizza locations wish you and yours the warmest of the holiday season. They hope the new year brings you prosperity and a good appetite. Merry Christmas. Gordy Dodd and the folks at Dodd's Furniture appreciate your patronage over the past year. They trust you will have a safe holiday and a bountiful new year. Season's greetings. Luggy and the rug cleaning experts at Luggerug wish you and your family a terrific Christmas. Enjoy your time with family and friends in the season of giving. Have a happy holiday. One year ago, you lived it. Now you can own the storm of the century. Backed by popular demand, your VHS copy is now available at these locations for just $19.96 plus taxes. It makes a great gift, and Check TV will donate $5 from every sale to community emergency funds. Pick up your copy today of the storm of the century, or call 383-2435, and relive those 10 days in December of 1996. Few of us will ever forget. Hi, welcome back to Tyabji. I'm Michael Smith of the Vancouver Province newspaper. I'm filling in for Judy, who's uh, having a nice Christmas break. And today we're talking about a green Christmas, ways you can have an environmentally friendly Christmas. And we're also taking your phone calls today. You know, a lot of the things we've been talking about today involve ways you can actually save money because we're talking about environmentally friendly gift ideas, but generally speaking, they're also cheaper ideas. So uh, a lot of people are, are interested in that because people want to cut down on, on the commercialism that su mm -hmm. surrounds Christmas. So if our callers have any ideas, do you think Christmas is too commercial? A lot of people do. Maybe some people go overboard. I, 
maybe I tend to go a little overboard at Christmas time myself. But why don't you give us a call and we can uh, we can we can throw that log on the Christmas fire, <laughs> as they say. Um, we're talking about last minute gift ideas, and uh, and I could use a couple myself because okay. uh, I'm in a pretty desperate situation. Right after the show, I'm up to the mall. Right. So uh, you were talking about we were talking on the break about some last minute ideas, mm -hmm. right? Well, Catherine's suggestions uh, here on the, the, the gifts of your time, you know, uh, are, are excellent ones. They're right. real easy. Um, also, uh, sport, tickets to sporting events or mm -hmm. the theater, those are real easy things to get at the last minute. Uh, as well, maybe you have things in your own home uh, that are yours that you don't use anymore, articles of clothing or, or sports equipment. Those can be given to, to somebody sort of last minute. Um, the, the idea is that if it's something that they can use and that they want um, and they need, then they're going to be happy. Now, Lorenzo, I was very interested in this yeah. in this particular voucher, <laughs> which you showed me on the break. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. And this is a very unique idea. I've never seen this one before. Okay. Um, <laughs> this voucher idea comes to us uh, from the Media Foundation. They're the people that put out uh, Adbusters magazine in Vancouver. And uh, it's a Christmas gift exemption voucher. This certifies that... Um, fill the name in. Fill the name right. in. Mike, uh, Mike Smith is exempt from the exchange of gifts with Lorenzo Mele by order of the Buy Nothing Committee, and then your signature and date. And uh, this is a, an easy way to avoid uh, getting something for somebody that you just feel obligated. Uh, or sometimes people say, you know, don't buy me something, don't buy me something. This is a great way to put it in writing. Yeah, and you're sort yeah. of sending a message that you're avoiding the commercialism at Christmas. And you also get away without looking too cheap. That's right. Yeah. So you put you, some thought into it. You, you kill know. two birds with one stone. Yeah. That's, so you that's make sure ideal. you take a few, though. I, I'm going to take a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might come in handy, actually, later. Yeah, you could photocopy them if you like. Yeah, just more. massively <laughs> photocopy these. Um, line six is Dennis in Chilliwack. Good morning. Hi, Dennis. Hi. Uh, quick question here. Uh, everybody has to heat their house during the winter. Uh, what's the best way to heat it environmentally? Boy, hmm, natural gas? Well, we have a 2,000 square foot house and we heat with wood. Great. Strictly, Terrific. and we're on 20 acres. Is that environmentally okay? Do you heat the whole house? Yep. And, uh, are you, but you're probably not occupying the whole house while yes, you're Yes, we there. are. Well, um, how many people are you? There's five in the house. Okay. Um, so my recommendation is that you only heat the rooms that you're in, first of all. Well, that's all we do is the living area, the bedrooms are uh, water beds in them, and that keeps the bedrooms warm. Right. And where do you get your wood from? Uh, off our 20 acres. Well, I mean, you know, as per everyone at Christmas time likes to have a nice roaring Absolutely. fire. Yeah. Well, it sounds like this gentleman has a really sustainable way to, uh, to heat his home, to provide energy uh, for that heat. Um, I'm sure that his home is, is very well insulated as well, so they're getting the maximum sort of benefit out of the, the wood that they're burning. And then if the wood's coming from his own wood lot, um, then certainly the incentive there is to, to create it, in a, to manage it in a way that it is going to be sustainable so they'll have wood uh, for many, many more years to come. Right. Okay. Yes, all we do is uh, burn the garbage trees. Right. Terrific. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And do you have a newer fireplace too? Yeah, we have an insert. That's okay. what we burn off as an insert. Right, so that you, you would want to be concerned somewhat about the emissions and the fine particulates coming from the fireplace, but if you're burning good hard wood, you're going to mi minimize that. Don't burn any of that shiny paper, which no, we talked about earlier. never. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for calling in, Dennis. Thank you. Merry okay. Christmas. Let's speak to uh, George and Courtney. Hello, Hel George. Hello there. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, I didn't know at first if you would be interested in, in my recycling project. I'm sure we will be. It's been going since last February. It's not a Christmas type thing. But I have a fundraiser going for the Variety Club, mm. and I'm recycling uh, any kind of recyclable bottles or cans. And right now I have four thousand and seventy-three dollars in the bank wow. for uh, for a donation when the telethon comes on. Right. I have recycled just aluminum cans. I've kept track. Not counting the glass bottles or the plastic pop bottles, just the aluminum can. I have recycled close to 60000 And And uh, I'm trying to hit $4,500. That would be triple my last year's donation. But I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. It's getting pretty close to time, and I don't have uh, just the 4073 
$73 in the bank. Eh? Well, good on you, George. That's very kind of yeah. you to do that. I was wondering, would uh, you object to me giving my phone number in case uh, someone hears this and sure, would that's... like to donate? Sure, that's fine. Go right ahead. It's 338-1242. Okay. And anybody that wants to donate in the Comox Valley, I would appreciate it greatly. Oh, great. Well, I hope you get some response to that. Okay, thank you. Have a great holiday. Very good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, there, there's a guy who's uh, using recycling to uh, give himself a good feeling and help some, help some people out. Excellent. So as, as, you, as you said earlier, Lorenzo, it's, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's just putting some imagination to work in this. Exactly. In this thing. Yeah, and, taking and some time, putting some thought and creativity into it. Uh, aluminum uh, is definitely the most valuable product that we uh, collect in, in the Blue Box program. Um, containers are going to become even more and more valuable uh, next year um, once the, the province does expand their, their bottle deposit legislation. Um, and so these containers are going to be uh, you know, sought after for, for fundraisers like right. this gentleman's doing. Okay. Um, let's speak to Diane in Vancouver. Hi there. Hi, Diane. What I was suggesting is perhaps with old materials, making wrapping paper. Uh -huh. And this way you can recycle them from year to year and put old bows or whatever you, you want. Also, too, our family in general turn around and make something under $10. It has to be homemade. It could be making jam or wooden plaque for one of the kids. And just putting a number and exchanging amongst ourselves, this way we keep costs down. I hope this is helpful. Oh, that's a great, a great Thank idea. You. Thanks a lot for calling Bye-bye. And um, obviously doing anything at home... Catherine is a good way to, to help the environment and uh, without, without buying needless packaging. And that yeah, sort of thing. I think so. And if you could bake cookies, I, I don't know <laughs> if you're much of a baker, Mike, that you, you, know, you could yeah. bake cookies tonight for all your friends and family and wrap them in tea towels, and that could be your gift wrap. Not and, a bad uh, idea. Um, I think the other thing is, too, is just have a celebration at your house, and that can be your gift to friends and family, is to invite them for a celebration. Right, you're saying like an, an open house and just ask, right. just ask people to drop by. Yeah, they can come by for a minute or for a little longer if they can and, and make it very casual, and uh, or have a dinner party where you can actually give a gift of your time and, and uh, the gift of food to people as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can also give gifts to other people in the name of, of somebody, so giving a gift that gives twice, so to speak. So a, do a donation to a worthy cause. A donation cause, to a worthy cause, mm -hmm. or go downtown tomorrow, and uh, those are the real street people will be downtown tomorrow morning on Christmas Day. You can imagine, and yes. give them a tin of cookies that mm -hmm. you know, and tell somebody you did that in, the, in their name. That's a that's a really nice idea, actually, mm -hmm. and probably uh, you know maybe give you a better feeling than the, you know the old spice gift set which I'll be loading up on <laughs> later after the show. Uh, we've got plenty more suggestions uh, coming and, and your phone calls with our, with our guests, uh, Catherine Malloy and Lorenzo Mele, right after this break. So please stay with us. Orange, purple stuff. Sunny D. Yeah. Okay. Tastes like orange and tangerine. Mine. And it's got vitamins A, B1, and C. Yeah. Excellent. Hey, good service. Yeah. Hey, way to go, Mom. Right. Sunny Delight is here. It's goodness kids go for. Climb in and get cozy. I can get into that. And I'm not about to let a big, bulky pad get in the way. So I started using new Always Ultra Thin Overnights. When I lie down, they cover where my regular pad misses. They're longer front to back with wings that cover side to side, so I get better protection where I need it. And they're this thin. This is an idea I'm very comfortable with. New Always Ultra Thin Overnights. Better overnight protection. There's a new kind of space travel, engineered for shipping non-hazardous liquids in a new form of energy-saving container. One that holds five times the volume of steel drums and takes 20% less shipping space. A corrugated container that is so efficient, it not only uses recycled fiber, it is recyclable, reusable, and biodegradable. Spacecraft. Another innovation by Macmillan Bladell. Making the most of a renewable resource. Hi, this is Brian Adams asking you to help support the SPCA. 
Tens of thousands of lost, abandoned, and abused animals come into BC shelters every year. It's important to know that the SPCA is not government funded. It relies on the generosity of animal lovers like you to fund their services. Please do what you can to help by adopting an animal or giving a donation of money or time. The animals are depending on us. Hi, welcome back to Tayabji. I'm Michael Smith of the Vancouver Province newspaper filling in for Judy this week. And uh, today we're talking about ways to have a green Christmas. And uh, my guests are uh, Catherine Malloy of the Gaia Project. It's a local environmental group here in Victoria. And Lorenzo Mele of the Capital Regional District. And he's their, uh, their point man on waste and recycling for the Capital Regional District. And Lorenzo, I know that you have a blue box with mm -hmm. you there with some uh, ideas, some more environmental ideas. Perhaps you could share those with us. Yeah. These are all uh, ideas on how to wrap your gifts. So. Um, Here's the end of a roll from the, from the newsprint, uh, stamps, and you've made your, your own paper. Okay. Um, this is a brown paper bag. Maybe you could just hold that up and so the yeah, camera gets a good a, look at it. Yeah, this is an old brown paper bag, and uh, we're using a, um, a, a stencil to, to use some, and watercolors to make a print. So you just dress, it, print. Up, dress yeah. it up a bit. Using potato prints is a really good thing, uh, great activity for the kids to be involved in. Mm -hmm. um, here's one using old pie plates. Oh. Yeah, this is a, a fun one. Um, this is another interesting one. This is an old oatmeal container, uh, some scraps of fabric, and a um, so little so bit of glue. Yeah. Okay. And away we go. The, the tags in here the, are from old Christmas cards. Uh -huh. Old Christmas cards we use for all kinds of things. In this case, just a pair of uh, uh, pinking shears and a uh, little ribbon, and then you've got your own gift tag. Um, here's a uh, an image out of a magazine, right. uh, just decorated up on the, the package. Mm -hmm. These bags are excellent things uh, to use. Okay. Uh, and all homemade, obviously. Yeah. Well, this one actually isn't homemade, but uh -huh. uh, the idea is that uh, this bag can be reused right. over and over again. You right. don't need to recycle it, it can be reused. Right. Okay. Obviously, well, you, you give that to a, as a gift to somebody. That, I mean, the bag itself is part of the gift. Mm -hmm. and, That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, here's another idea, using old maps. Oh, wow. Old uh, out-of-date maps to wrap your gifts. Not a bad idea. And um, flower pot. And you paint it. And you it's painted, mm -hmm. yeah. And there's the little boxes that are made from uh, old Christmas cards. Mm -hmm. um, these are all sort of craft ideas. And, uh, you know, you're using your imagination. You're using discarded materials uh, sometimes. Um, and, of course, they can be, you know, reused and over and over again. Great idea. I know, you know, it's bringing back memories from my childhood, actually, because my dad used to do this kind of stuff. He was great at kind of improvising on rapping and mm -hmm. stuff. But I always had a few friends who were sort of prankster friends, the guys who would get you some <laughs> tiny little gift that was about that big and then wrap it about 600 times so it was until it was about that big. And the whole thing was an environmental disaster by right. the time you opened it up. But those are some terrific ideas. Um, perhaps our callers have some other ideas, too. Uh, we have Pam on the line from Victoria. Hello, Pam. Hi. Thanks for waiting. Oh, no problem. It wasn't long of a wait. Oh, good. Um, I've got an idea that a friend of mine shared with me just before Christmas, actually, okay. on rubber stamping. It sort of goes along with your idea there with the, uh, the grocery bags. Right. But um, you can make very professional-looking cards, uh, wrapping paper, whatever. Um, all I need is some, some scraps of recycled paper. Um, you can buy supplies that you, you can actually emboss it, and it's raised up, or you can use the liquid embroidery and put little puffy things on it. It is amazing what you can do with, with rubber stamping, I'm finding out. This is extremely popular, I'm starting to notice, mm -hmm. that people are really catching on to that uh, huge. That kind of thing. Yeah, well, the first time I heard about it, you know, you think rubber stamping, what can you really do with that? But I, I was totally impressed. Yeah. And I understand that various shops in town hold really inexpensive classes where they'll supply the material and the ideas and just to get you started. Mm -hmm. um, so just an idea for some of the listeners. Great. Excellent idea. Okay. Th thanks for calling in and sharing it with us. My pleasure. Okay. Um, we got a whole bunch of calls here. Lit up like the proverbial Christmas tree. Very appropriate. Um, Carol in Nanaimo. Oh, in Nanaimo. Hi. Hi. Carol. Hi, Carol. Merry Christmas. Same to you. How are you doing? We're doing great. Um, I just sort of tuned into your show about 15 minutes ago, and I wanted to share with you one thing I did for my husband okay. for a few years is we bought live Christmas trees and planted them in our yard. So we get to see them year after year. And then a few years we bought fruit trees for Christmas. Wow. 
and nice. they and, just grow away. And, and then they, they just keeps on giving every year with, with fruit, I yeah. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful idea. Thanks for, thanks for sharing that with us. Okay. Okay. Bye. Um, that brings up an interesting point I wanted to ask you about, and that's the idea of buying a live Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it, that's kind of a, it makes a lot of sense it because does. you're not cutting down and, and, and killing a tree. Uh, mm -hmm. For the sake of having a Christmas tree, and you take you can take the tree and actually plant it. Now, is that is that something that's catching on in terms of popularity? It's it's not a a, a huge thing. I think that the the cut Christmas trees and uh, artificial Christmas trees are still you know have the the lion's share of the market. Uh, but definitely um, live trees, live potted trees are popular. And um, I, I don't know what the the numbers are, but I I know that many people do use them. I know, we've used uh, the same live tree. For, we do a, a display each year at the um, Out of Hand Craft Fair at the Victoria Conference Centre, and uh, we've used the same tree for three years now. It's donated to us uh, by the Victoria Parks Board, and so we just keep it there in their uh, arboretum, and then we uh, pull it out over the Christmas season, and they haven't outplanted it, so uh, it's fine still. It's in so a it's, pot. So it's still in a pot. It's That's been in right. a pot for the last three years. Yeah. And eventually it'll get planted in the ground permanently. Eventually it will get planted in the ground, yeah, when they find a, a, a need for it. But the thing is, it's a bit of a Charlie Brown sort of tree, so <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it does, it makes a, a nice tree though, once it's all decorated, yeah, and well, it's what alive. Did, what did Linus say? It just needs a little love to make these <laughs> Christmas trees look nice. That's and right. some of the live Christmas trees too that, uh, that we do buy are from tree farms, so they're grown especially for that, just the tops mm. of them are lopped off for our Christmas trees, Yeah. and then grown again, so if you like to have the, the smell of the the pine in your house. That is actually nice. Mm -hmm. um, before we go to a break, we'll take a we'll speak to Margaret in Cobble Hill. Hi, Hi. Margaret. Lorenzo's probably covered a lot of these uh, thoughts that I had, but um, using uh, something that's reusable, such as scarves or towels to wrap in or newspaper uh -huh. planters, or recycling your bows and ribbon for other events, mm -hmm. and also if you're lucky enough to have a, a tree that is framed by a window in your living room. Um, this year, because I wasn't up to doing a tree inside, we put lights and, and uh, bird seed uh, uh, so that you could actually look out your window and see the, the Christmas tree, but it wasn't in your house, so to speak. Right. Um, and just using gift certificates, like uh, if you have somebody away from home for long-distance phone calls, um, maybe you've got a young person that needs to learn to drive and getting them license uh, lessons or drive, driving lessons. And um, if you have property and can, or you have items outside on trees that you can make wreaths and yule logs and then just attach a card to say you've made a donation to your um, to a charity in that person's name. Okay, Margaret. Well, thanks a lot for those those hints. We've uh, just got to go to a break right now. There's some really good ideas. They're still coming in and it's not too late to do a lot of this stuff even though it's it's getting close to the to the deadline. <laughs> but uh, uh, when we come back, we're going to discuss uh, more, of, uh, more of these great ideas. So please stay with us on the Tabs you program. Climb in and get cozy? I can get into that. And I'm not about to let a big, bulky pad get in the way. So I started using new Always Ultra Thin Overnights. When I lie down, they cover where my regular pad misses. They're longer front to back with wings that cover side to side. So I get better protection where I need it. And they're this thin. This is an idea I'm very comfortable with. New Always Ultra Thin Overnights. Better overnight protection. You've always known how your touch can comfort your child. Clinical studies have recognized the positive effects of Vicks Vapor Rub for cold symptoms. We call it rub therapy. Combined with your loving touch, Vapor Rub can relieve cold symptoms while comforting your child. The warmth of your touch helps release medicated vapors which quickly relieve your child's nasal congestion and calm coughing from a cold. It also eases aching muscles. Vicks Vapor Rub puts the power to relieve in the palm of your hand. This Christmas, go wireless. Only a VCTEL Mobility Center has all the latest in wireless communications. Personal pagers, cell phones, and digital PCS. All at over 80 locations. This Christmas, be free. 
BC Tel Mobility. Here she is, Miss Center of the Universe. Here's a cheesy moment you might want to miss. And here's one you don't. So, go get some crackers, apple jelly, and cheddar cheese. Put the cheese on the crackers, spoon on the apple jelly. Voila, you can't get any cheesier. Well, then again, maybe you can. This cheesy moment is just a reminder. When you've got cheese, you've got choice. Coming up uh, next on the Taiabji program, the next few days, tomorrow, Christmas Day, uh, the show is preempted. No Taiabji show tomorrow. On Boxing Day, uh, there will be a repeat of the Justice Denied program. Uh, that will be featuring your regular host, Judy Taiabji. On Monday, Judy is back live. Thank God for that. And uh, she'll be talking about mountain climbers and in Argentina, of all places. And uh, then the, on Tuesday, Hormones in our food, yikes. That'll be the topic on Tuesday with, Je with, uh, with Judy Tayabji. Um, and I'm Mike Smith filling in for Judy uh, for today. And we've been talking about ways to have an environmentally green Christmas, and ways to have a, a frugal Christmas, ways to save a few bucks. And um, uh, I know that, Catherine, you're involved in a very unique program. I've never heard of this before. It's called the Car Share Co-op. Right, the Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Victoria Car Share Co-op. Uh, we're a registered not-for-profit cooperative, and actually it's a, it's a good big-ticket item if you want to get a Christmas gift like that. It's, uh, it's people that collectively own and share vehicles together. So uh, it costs $500 to join, and that can be uh, two family members that then have use of the vehicles. And in fact, uh, um, a little hint is that we're actually just placing for Christmas morning, our members will have a uh, 1995 seven passenger van to use. It'll be parked in Fernwood now. So it's kind of like a timeshare. You buy a piece of a car, right? a timeshare in a car, almost like a timeshare in a condo in Florida, but this time, this way you got a car. And I guess you make a reservation beforehand so you can That's right. book the times, the days that you want to use the car and it's a way to save money that way. That's exactly right. You can use it for half an hour or you can book it up to two weeks, whatever suits you. And you can use it as many times a month as you want. And at the end of the month, you get an invoice uh, based on your usage. Very interesting idea. I've never heard of that before. Now, if people are interested in that, where should they... They where could they call 995-0265. All right, all right. Very interesting idea. Um, program is rapidly winding up here. It's really flown by with such an interesting topic, so we want to get to some more calls, and we're going to speak to Mitch in Vancouver. Hi. Hi, uh, Mitch. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Um, I'm actually from Victoria, but I'm here in Vancouver uh, on, over the holidays. Okay. Um, I belong to a program called Inner City Youth Works in Victoria on Pandora Street. Familiar with that, yes. Uh, and we are ultra heavy in the recycling there. I mean, everything that comes in, uh, all donations get recycled, and either they go to the staff, the youth, or they go into the stores so they can be resold, and the money gets, re gets put back into inner city youth works. Um, I mean, we are a nonprofit organization, um, and we have uh, composting, um, cans and bottles get recycled, um, Essentially, there's almost nothing gets put to waste. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is recycled and re-put back into the program. Well, that, it's interesting. That, that I've heard about your program. I know it's real successful. Um, and I know that uh, Victoria is one of the best recycling cities in the country. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, by far. Mm -hmm. I, I, grew, I grew up in Vancouver. I've been here um, for 20 years. And I've never seen a city that is so recyclable like Victoria. <laughs> uh-huh. So you think they're doing a better job of recycling here on the island? By they, far. Is that right? So these they, Vancouver Victoria, people better Victoria get on the job. Victoria is miles ahead of, of Vancouver in oh, the recycling. Okay. Wow. Well, I think that could be partly because we, we live on an island and we have to get it off the island. But I'd just like to say that I did buy some, uh, some stuff from the inner city youth store for Christmas gifts, and they have some fantastic stuff there. Great. Well, thanks for calling, Mitch. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let's speak to uh, Elizabeth and Duncan. Hello, Elizabeth. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thank you. Um, I thought you might like to know that my husband uh, recycles Christmas trees and makes them into walking canes. Oh. Of course, they have to be the right size. You don't want a 10-foot one. <laughs> but uh, some of them are quite nice. That's an interesting idea. Yes. Sort of Sometimes. makes them into uh, a shillelagh, kind of an Irish shillelagh. Well, sort of, yes. Uh, if the branches are arranged 
nicely. He leaves the stubs on on mm-hmm. the on the cane, and, but if they're not, he smooths it off and shapes the handles a bit and that sort of thing. Oh, that's very nice. And does mm-hmm. he give those away as gifts? Yes. Oh, great. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a great idea. Excellent idea. Once uh-huh. a, you know, I'm not sure I have the expertise to do something like that. Maybe there's there's lots of people out there who are pretty handy. That yeah. Probably accomplish something like mm-hmm. that. Yes. Well, great, Elizabeth. Thanks a lot for, for phoning in with that idea. Thank you. That's terrific. Um, obviously, there's lots of ways to recycle, and you're limited only by your imagination. Mm-hmm. Um, are there any, any other hints? What about uh, different ideas? Someone told me today a great idea would be to build a composting box for a friend. Excellent actually, get some, actually get somebody into it, you know, yeah. encourage someone to recycle. Excellent idea. Yeah, yeah. I've given composters uh, for Christmas presents before and for birthday presents. Uh, the large plastic type, right. uh, but building one out of wood uh, and wire mesh, I mean, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. Pallets, yeah. you could use pallets to build it too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people need that sort of little push, you know, that little added incentive to, to participate in some of these things. Right, because as you were saying, uh, once people get on the recycling road, it, ten- it tends to become second nature after, after it a does. point. It does. Yeah. It starts to make sense, and it's just, it is, it's common sense to right. recycle and to reduce waste. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to thank both of you for coming in because the time has flown by. You've, you've, had, you've brought in some excellent ideas and some excellent examples of ways you can have a green Christmas this year, even though we don't have a white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we can still have a green Christmas. Thanks for inviting so, us. So, uh, Catherine Malloy of the Gaia Project, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And Lorenzo Mele of the Capital Regional District, keep recycling. Right on. You're doing a great job. Thank you. And uh, thanks very much, both of you, for coming in. If you want to contact us here at the Tyabji program, here's how you do it. You write to Tyabji. 780 Kings Road, Victoria, B.C., V8T5A2. The fax number is 250-389-1226. Email is tyabji at wic.ca. And the website, excellent website uh, for the Tyabji program, www.checktv.com. And that's how you can get in touch with us. Uh, This is my last day on the program. Judy will be back uh, on a repeat program on Friday, and she'll be back with you live on Monday, and we'll come come right back to wrap things up. Ooh, here's a cheesy moment you might want to miss. And here's one you don't. Take nachos, peppers, grated mozzarella. Cover the nachos with cheese. Sprinkle on the peppers. And heat until the cheese is melted. That's so cheesy. (laughs) It's scary. This cheesy moment is just a reminder. You've got cheese. You've got choice. We both have colds. Why is he up and at him? And I'm so tired and cranky and headachy. I can't even get started. Why? Because last night when he said, Let's take NyQuil so we can feel better in the morning. I said, Why? What's the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever, so you could rest medicine got to do with morning, silly? He took it. I took these. He got rest. I didn't. Why? Vicks NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, stuffy head fever, so you can feel better the next morning medicine. Hi, this is Daniel Clover from Remax Ports West, Victoria's top producing real estate company in its class. In my business, it's always important to look your best, and that's why I shop at Master Clothiers on the corner of Fort and Blanchard. Quality clothing at an affordable price. So if you're considering buying or selling a home, call me, Daniel Clover, at 592-1007. If you're looking for quality clothing at an affordable price, Master Clothiers, Fort and Blanchard. Christmas time at Woodgrove Santa. Santa is in the building seven days a week from now till Christmas. Get photos with Santa, get your gifts wrapped, and take advantage of Woodgrove's extended holiday hours. There's more sounds of Christmas at Woodgrove Center. We'll share the joys of the season. It's Christmas time and more at Woodgrove Center. Well, I don't know about you, but I came up with some great uh, last-minute gift ideas on the program today, and I'll be heading out right now to try and use some of the ideas we came up with on the program. 
Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Have a great Christmas. Christmas. Remember, it's not what you buy, but it's the thought behind it. I'm Mike Smith of the Vancouver Province newspaper. See you on page six. Mm -hmm.